Reducing food waste is a problem with many restaurants today. Let's discuss this right now. Food waste. There are basically two types. First is the wastage from when you prepare ingredients like vegetables and meat, trim the meat, trim the fat off there, peeling the potatoes, chopping off the edges of vegetables, etc. That's the first lot of wastage. How do you overcome that? Maybe you can do an exercise to seeing how much it costs to buy prepared ingredients like portion control meats and fillet in seafood items, uh, vegetables, peeled potatoes, uh, palm noisettes, peeled carrots, etc. Maybe it's worth doing it on the cheaper side. And that wastage will be obviously the, the vegetable fruit and veg supplier and the meat supplier will obviously handle that on their side of things and you'll just get the net amount ready to cook and it could help you control your portions much better. The second lot is outright wastage as a result of over-ordering, getting the forecast right, throwing away whole kilos of meat and seafood and boxes of fruit and vegetables because you've over-ordered, you haven't sold enough, and that is a real issue. So proper forecasting, using stand recipes and correct buying techniques, to specifications, and also the habits of staff. I mean, in my first experience when I was a hotel and catering management student many years ago, I had a job between this for about six weeks at a hospital there. And they had roughly 100 patients, what it was, give or take, prepared breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was horrified to find out they were throwing away about three and a half, 75 litre garbage bins of food every day, every sitting or every day. So that accumulated. Some of us a bit less, some was a bit more. And I did a little check to see what the problem was. Obviously, they were cooking too much stuff. The forecasts weren't being delivered to the kitchen staff or they couldn't be bothered. And what did I notice? They were using the same size pots. So they knew that to cook something and needed a certain ingredient up to this level, uh, using a whole uh, half a bag of flour instead of using a third of a bag of flour, just basically not thinking, not making adjustments because they were there for a long time and they were cooking things exactly the same all the time. So, for example, they, for whatever reason, someone worked it out years ago that you needed this pot, half a bag of this and a bag of this and a tin of this and a tin of that for the full complement of patients. And there were no adjustments when there were less patients around. Consequently, all this waste. It wasn't really rocket science, but within 24 hours, managed to just simple checking things and measuring things a bit better. Reduced it from three and a half bins to less than one. And obviously, the longer you put into it, you trim it even further the next day. But certainly, you're, you're saving, we're saving about two and a half garbage bins of wasted food every day. So what methods are you using to control your food costs in your restaurant? Are you keeping close watch? Are you buying to the right specifications? Have you got sound recipes? Are you controlling your portions right? I cover a lot of these in other videos. What systems are you using in your restaurant to control your food wastage? Leave your comments below.